What's up guys, Terranet has now on the test server, so let's look at some gameplay. First let me also look at the passive. We are a... We have a different passive on every single evolution. So right here we have, if we receive some amount of damage, we gain attack damage. On the second evolution we get a shield, and on Terranata we get defense and special defense. So let's just jump right into it. Progression as well, we are level 1, level 5 and level 9 Pokemon. So pretty reasonable, right? Pretty standard when it comes to these kind of things. Let me equip my eject button as well. Why not? Just in case there's some hidden things. I mean, this Pokemon has a lot of things going on in their moves. It has insane descriptions. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm very, very excited for this Pokemon as well. Obviously, a pretty big fan favorite, right? Just looking at my Tarenta videos, people are super excited for this Pokemon. So, uh, okay, level 1 and level 3. We have Bite. And Bite just deals damage to opposing Pokemon from the user. If the opposing Pokemon is below 7%, they get stunned, right? Yes, they get stunned as well if they're under a certain amount of threshold. Oh, it's so cute, actually. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, bite. Be straightforward. And then we have, let me turn on cooldowns. We have rock polish as well, which looks like a tackle. Has either charge ahead, and if it hits, you get attack damage. So, early game doesn't seem too bad, right? But it seems like he has good early game damage. Let me see if I can put someone under half HP and then see what's happened. what happens. Under half HP, and he's stunned. Oh, that's not bad. I like it, I like it. All right, so basically the moves seem pretty decent already, I have to say. Um, let me level up. First evolution, let's try Dark Pulse first. Let's try Dark Pulse. All right. And he can move during it. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we're not locked in the same position. Has the user exhale a mist of darkness and horizontal sweep in motion. Taking damage to any opposing it hits. If an opposing Pokemon's remaining HP is below a set ascent, they get also stunned, right? They become stunned, yes. If this move hits an opposing Pokemon again with a set amount of time, it deals additional damage. If this move is used while the user's piercing strength has been increased by ancient power, the user can ignore opposing Pokemon's defense and special defense. Okay, I assume that's the other ability. So again, also we have another stun. If you get him under set percent, another stun. But it's nice part that we can actually, uh, you know, move by doing it. Alright, let me le level up to level 7. Uh, no, level... Okay, we get our next one level 8. Level 9? Oh, we get our last move on level 9. With Unite move together. Interesting. So we have Ancient Power. Alright, he charges something up. Gets Hindrance Resistance and then explodes it. And we can reactivate it. You can reactivate it multiple times. What is this move? Wait, I need to... Let me put move cooldowns on to see what happens, actually. We can reactivate it once. And we do true damage right now. You can see those white numbers. That means we're doing true damage. I can't read this move right now because I have to hold it down to use it. And I... Okay, there we go. Charges power before releasing a shockwave. The shockwave deals damage to me by posing Pokemon, leaves them unable to check for a short time. While the user is charging, power, its movement speed increases, it gains a shield, and it becomes resistant to hindrances. If an opposing Pokemon are hit by the shockwave, the user piercing strength increases, allowing it to ignore opposing defenses shield effects. That means that's the bite number, that's the, like the true damage that we have in other MOBAs as well. If this move hits an opposing Pokemon, the user can release a second shockwave in the front of it, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and decreasing their move speed for a short time. If the second shockwave hits, the user is going another shield and the strength of the shield is proportionally to the number of opposing Pokemon hit by the second shockwave. Reach maximum of shield strengths if three are hit. My god, this Pokemon has a lot of things going on. If this move is used while the user's piercing strength has been increased. So, like, I mean... This has so much going on, it's insane. So this also does true damage or what? Yeah, it does. This also just does true damage now. That is crazy. Now we're back to normal, we can activate it, and now we do true damage. Okay, that sounds insane. And we have the Unite move. Has the user explode with an anger of going could Rampage, increasing its move speed for a short time. If the user is affected by hindrance, it will return to normal faster than usual. While the user's rampaging, its basic attack's pattern changes and the attack the increased damage. If the HP on an opposing Pokemon hit by these basic attacks is below 7%, they get knocked out immediately. We're gonna ramp. Oh my god, okay. 
me go fight maybe the Venusaur up here. See what it looks like, the, you know, under the threshold. He's running away, stop running. No, the bot is running away, stop running away, man. Am I still ramp? Okay, we can, see, we can see the bar right there. Let me, uh, let me just turn him in a bit. Yeah, what now, huh? Okay. This is kind of interesting, I guess. Alright, do we have any cool upgrades as well? Dark Pulse Plus. I don't know if I can see it right here. Probably have to go back into the... Uh, let me just go back. Let me just read the pluses as well. Then we look at the other two moves. These moves have so much going on. It's actually insane. Already. It's like I'm reading a book or something. Go into here. Go into here. Maybe I should highlight Terranata already. Because I'm going to play it later. If you guys want to join my stream later on Twitch TV, I will be playing this Pokemon on the test server against other players. So we have Dark Pulse, the plus move, reduces the cooldown, right? That's just cooldown reduction and ancient power. Strength to the move effect of the shield. So we get more shields. All right, Sand Tomb, what do we get? Increase the length. And then we're going to look at these in a second as well. And Stone Edge, increase the damage there by this move. All right, that's all there is to it. Back into practice area. And let's look at the other two moves of Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Ready? Go! Level up. All the way. So we get Stone Edge and Sand Tomb. Also, basic attacks are like nothing, right? There's just more damage, right? Yeah, there's two more damage. Okay, that looks kind of... Whoa. That is a huge area. My god. Your Stone Edge is also very... Okay, Stone Edge, you can activate multiple times. How much takes does this have? Deal damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect, dealing more damage the closer the pawning is are to the user. Oh, this move can be used up to three times. Alright, it can be used up to three times, so there's more damage in this, like... Compared to Hyper Voice, there's more damage up close. Nice. Seems good. Then we have Sand Tomb. As the user moves to a designated direction, the single bound dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits while leaping and leaving them unable to attack for a short time. When the user lands, the shock from landing creates a cloud of dust at the point of impact that deals damage over time and increases move speed for opposing Pokemon within an area of effect. If this move is used again, while the user is in the cloud of dust, opposing Pokemon in front of the user will be pulled closer to it. Furthermore, while the user is in the cloud of dust, it takes reduced damage and ignore the fa What? Clo Oh my god, this Pokemon has so much going on. That's, ama that's amazing. Wait, what? Okay, how, how big is the slow? And we can pull some... Okay, we can activate and make a wave happen. That is very cool. That is very cool. Can we dead? <laughs> no, he's also okay. Wow. Alright, set tube is kind of cool. I like it. But the other one also seemed pretty insane, right? Wait, I can't activate it now. I need to dash somewhere. Where's that? Did I buck it out? Maybe it's bucked now. I think it's bucked out. Oh no. Did we already find a bug? What happened to Sand Tomb? Where's my dash? My dash is just gone now. Okay, I think something bucked out. Something bugged out. How fast do we take this threat now? <laughs> my, my thing is just gone. So something bugged out for sure. Yeah, this Pokemon looks pretty insane though. I like all the moves. They're pretty unique as well, I feel like. Very unique. And again, I will be playing it against actually players soon. Is there anything else I missed? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the showcase. Wait, let me let me score. Let me see the score animation. Oh my oh, he's a big boy. <laughs> he's just okay. But Sentum is actually a cool move as well, like very, very cool. 
What? The Venus took Zeptos. It's over, guys. And one more score. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. And obviously, we have full gameplay later on as well, where again, I'm gonna upload some games of me playing against actual players. See ya!